All right, guys. Remember, we cleaned this up in the last one, and it's ready for paint. The only thing I got to do is find a rubber hose to go over top of that that'll fit nice and snug, with some masking tape on the washer, and cut with a razor so that it's nice and neat. And uh, I just believe it's better to mask it off since I got the rod clean. I don't want to disturb all that stuff down in there. Uh, I want to keep all that nice and soft. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and mask that off. But in the meantime, we're going to make this bad boy. So. This is the new one, and I'll show you how I've done that. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and make this piece, because we know that it fits in there nice and snug. Right, so we're going to take and just pick us a place that's way beyond that because this is the very first one so the first one you can make it a little extra long if you need to cut it down then you can cut it down it's better to have more and not need it than it is to need it and not have it so we've got us a starting point so what I'll do Go ahead and mark that right there. And I always end up grabbing the one that you can't hardly see. So we're going to take this and put it in there somehow here. I think we'll go this way. Alright. Then we'll just take this and hold our hand on this so it don't fall off. And you can tell when you're at the end because it's got a different sound to it. Alright, so now we've got to start. So now we need to do the next part. So we'll just stick that in there right there. All we're going to do is get us a mark. Now this is the critical part. We need to remember the stretch. And most of the time I never remember the stretch. So I'm just going to go right there and hope I'm correct. <laughs> and it doesn't really matter if I am correct or if I'm not correct because it wouldn't hurt it for it to be a different size anyway. Alright, so then we'll go ahead and put that in there just like that. We want this to be square with the top of this much as we can. Alright, and then we'll bend that. Now we're probably going to have to stop at a certain point. Depends on whether it goes over top of this. So we're at the edge of it, so we need to come up a little bit. Make sure it's good and tight. All 
it so we've got that part so now we need to take some of that bend back out of it because I went too far with it so we're just going to kind of come up with it a little bit and try to match it So, right here is where we want to bend it just slightly. So, we got our mark. And remember, you got to keep it straight all the way around. So, we're just going to put that in there. Maybe something like that. But remember, we ain't got to go very far with it. So we just take this and hit it. Just one more little hit. All right, so now we need to make a mark here. Right, right about right there. And that's where we're going to bend the next one. Now we'll take that out and we're just going to keep doing the same thing. Remember, keep this level with the top of this. And if you need help with that, basically you can just take something like this right here and lay on it. If it looks parallel or right there, you got it, and it does. <laughs> or you can use a straight edge. And it's the same, so that was just being too technical. Alright, so we want that good and tight, because we don't want it to change. And we're going all the way around this time. And it's nice to keep a bounce on that. Uh, for the simple reason, you can straighten that by hitting it here. So you kind of want to just stay right here and here, back and forth. But to keep the vibration down, just put your rag on it. Alright, so now we take our old one. Keep testing it, and then we'll make our next mark. Now this is the one that's going to be critical for me. I want that thing to be pretty much the same on both sides. So considering where that jaw sets, I'm still going to keep up with the same pattern. So right there is our mark. And we're going to do the same thing. And we're just going to 
make sure it's straight. It's, uh, it needs an adjustment. So we just take this and adjust it. And we can do that after we're done. So Let's hope that we get it correct. and then you just straighten it up just like that looks pretty straight to me so now we'll take this put it in the vise we'll make our marks where we're going to cut it Right there. And right there. Then we'll take our grinder. Change our blade. and cut them off. We want to cut this one off first because if you cut this one you'll be cutting both of these and then you'll be cutting that one you ain't going to have a short bit of short piece. So you want to cut this one off first. Then, take your file and just file it down. Now it's got a slight twist. And we're going to take that twist out right now. And there we have a new and improved, basically the same thing it was originally, and that will be spread to go on there, but I'm not going to do that until I'm ready to keep it that way. So uh, that's how you make a new handle. Maybe I can. Yeah, I better wait until I'm ready to paint it. Uh, so I'm going to paint this. And... Uh, I don't know if I want to paint that or not. Um, I think this is stainless steel, so I don't believe I have to. So we'll just clean that up and we'll meet you at the bench. Alright guys, all I did was just took a piece of PVC pipe, cut it to just slide over it with a washer, the same size as that washer, put it down on there, and just use gravity as our friend, and let's go ahead and paint this bad boy.
and we'll call that a almost done piece because now I got to do is file the bottom or sand file it and take the washer and the PVC off of it and it'll be ready to go together. One more coat. 